my YouTube channel, it's your girl Ella, and today we this is a continuation of the book Mr. Stink by David Williams. Before we get into the book, I want to say a big thank you to all my subscribers out there because we have reached over 400 subscribers. So thank you so much. Let's do the three second like subscribe challenge. Ready? Three, two, one, done. Hope you've liked, subscribed and turned on all the post notifications. Let's get into the book. Mother had ripped her vampire story to shreds. She had tried very hard not to cry. That's terrible, child, said Mrs. Stink. You must have been devastated. I hate her, said Chloe. I hate my mother. You shouldn't say that, said Mrs. Stink. But I do. You are very angry with her, of course, but she loves you, even if she finds it's hard to show it. Maybe, Chloe sh shrugged unconvinced. But having, but having talked to everything through, she felt a little calmer now. Thank you so much for listening to me, she said. I just hate to see a young girl like you looking sad, said Mrs. Stink. I may be old, but I can remember what it was like to be young. I just hope I helped a little. You helped a lot. Mrs. Stink smiled before letting the last sludge of volcanic gloop slip down his throat. Delicious! Now we'd better leave some money for our beverages. He searched around his pocket for some change. Oh, bother! Oh, bother! I can't read the board without any spectacles. I'll leave six pence, that should be enough. And two pence tip, they will be pleased that they can treat themselves to one of those newfangled video cassettes. Right, I think you'd better be heading home now, young lady. The rain had stopped. When they left the coffee shop, they sauntered down the roads as cars hummed past. Let's swap places, said Mr. Stink. Why? Because a lady should walk on the inside of the pavement and the gentleman should walk on the outside. So as you can tell from the book, Mr. Stink is a very posh and polite man. Really, said Chloe. Why? Well, the outside is more dangerous because that's where the cars are. But I believe that it was originally because in the olden days, people used to throw the contents of their chamber pots out of their windows into the gutter. So many of you, many of you who go to school, you might know about this. In maybe the Victorian days, they used to, you know, do their business in a bucket or a pot and they used to throw it outside as if it was being flushed down the toilet. What's a chamber pot? said Chloe. Well, I don't wish to be rude, but it's a kind of portable toilet. Ugh, that's gross. Did people do that when you were a boy? Mr. Stink chuckled. No, that was little before my time, child. In the 16th century, in fact. Now, Miss Chloe, it's a quick demand we swap places. His old word galantry was so charming it made Chloe smile and they changed places. They strolled side by side passing the high street shop after after high street shop. All trying to herald the approach of Christmas louder than the next. After a few moments Chloe saw Roseman walk Rosemond walking towards with a small flotilla of shopping bags. Can we cross the road, please? Quick, qu quickly, whispered Chloe anxiously. Why, a child, whatever is the matter? It's that girl from school I just told you about, Rosamond. The one who stuck that sign to your back? Yes, that's her. You need to stand up to her, pronounced Mr. Stink. Let her be the one to cross the road. No, please, don't say anything. Who is this, your new boyfriend? Laughed Rosamond. It wasn't a real laugh like people do when they find something funny. That's a lovely sound. 
This was a cruel laugh, an ugly sound, and Chloe didn't say anything, just looked down. My daddy gave me 500 to buy myself whatever I want for Christmas, said Rosamond. I blew that... I blew that lot at the toy shop, saying, you're too fat to get into any of their clothes. Chloe merrily sighed. She was used to being hounded by Rosamond. Why are you letting her talk to you like that, Chloe? said Mrs. Sink. What is it to you, Grandad, mockingly? Hang around with the old smelly chumps now, are you, Chloe? You are tragic. How long did it take for you to find that sign on your back then? She didn't find it, said Mrs. Sink slowly and deliberately. I did, and I didn't find it amusing. Didn't you, said Rosamond. All the other girls found it really funny. Well, then they're as vile as you are. What? said Mrs. Sink. She wasn't used to be called that. I said, then they are as vile as you are, he repeated even louder this time. You are a nasty little bully, Chloe. Chloe looked up, looked on anxiously. She hated confrontation. To make matters worse, Rosamond looked, took a pace forward and stood eye to eye with Mrs. Stink. Say that to my face, you old stinker. For a moment, Mr. Stink fell silent. He, then he opened his mouth and let out the deepest, dirtiest, darkest burp. Burp! Rosamond's face turned green. It was as if a pure tornado, tornado had engulfed her. It was the smell of coffee and sausages and rotten vegetables recovered from the bins, all rolled into one. Rosamond turned and ran, hurtling down the street in such a panic. She dropped her toy shop bags and on the way. That was so funny, laughed Chloe. Ha 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 ha. I didn't mean to belch, most impolite. It was just the, that coffee repeating on me. Dear me, now next time I want to see you stand up for yourself, Miss Chloe. A bully can only make you feel bad about yourself if you let them. Okay, I'll try, said Chloe. So see you tomorrow? If you really want to, I would love to, and I would love to too, he said, his eyes twinkling, as that was the last golden glow. Of the sunlight splintered through the sky. At the moment, a four times four thundered past. Its giant tires splashed the huge puddle by the bus stop, sending a wave of water that soaked Mr. Sink from the dirt from dirty head to dirty foot. Water dripping from his glasses, he gave Chloe a little bow and said, Is this why a gentleman always walks on the outside? And at least it wasn't a chamber pot, chuckled Chloe. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Remember, like, subscribe. And if you're new, keep on subscribing because I would love it to for me to get to 1K or above that. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.